Hello everyone, Matteo here, and now we will take a closer look at the JP1 scale crawler from MST. The body is attached to the chassis with these four body posts and fix it with body clips. The body itself comes in clear polycarbonate and have to be cut and painted. To improve the look of the car, some parts comes in black hard plastic, as you can see here the front grille. The front grille is screwed on from the inside of the body and this holder includes also light buckets for an easy LED lights installation. It's the same at the rear end. This nice hard plastic tail lights allows an easy LED light installation. On the inside, light buckets are already included. Door handles and side mirrors are also made in black hard plastic to improve the scale look. Also windshield wipers and a good looking snorkel are included in the kit. Not included is the driver figure. As always I use the 4x4 vehicle driver figure from Tamiya and hard plastic seats from EA Racing. These parts I've installed on a perforated aluminum sheet and fixed with strong adhesive tape on the inside of the body. Overall, a good looking body for me. It should be something like a Jeep, but it's not a licensed replica of the full size Jeep. Looks as MST does not own the license to do this. But now, let's go back on the trails and come back later to get a closer look at the chassis. Now let's take a closer look at the chassis. It's the CFXW chassis. It's built with leather frames, four-link suspension and rigid axles. This truck comes as kit. The manual explains every step of the build and everything fits well together. The parts are made in good quality and it's a pleasure to build this car. From underneath you can see the four link suspension and the rigid axles. The links are made in black coated aluminium. The drive shafts are made in plastic. The motor is installed in front over the front axle. The motor and the ESC is not included in the kit. I use the Mamba X brushless crawler combo from Castle with 2200 kb. In this gearbox the planetary gear is installed. All gears are made in metal. Here you can see how this kind of gear works. It's very good, it brings a big gear reduction and the force spreads over these four gear wheels. Because the torque is not only on one gear wheel, this kind of transmission is very strong and durable. After this gearbox the power is transmitted over this short shaft and through the transfer case to the drive shafts. 
Also an adjustable slipper clutch is installed on the spur gear. And all these moving parts are fully equipped with ball bearings. The electronics, ESC and receiver are installed at the rear end of the chassis. This can be difficult, because the most ESC and motors does not have this length of cables. Of course, you can install the electronics on another place, but I want to keep it here to save the space in the center of the chassis for interior and driver figure. So I had to use longer motor cables, and because it's a sensored brushless system, I had to buy a longer sensor cable too. The battery is installed crosswise and can be a 2 or 3S LiPo. Also nickel metal hybrid batteries can be used. I use a 3 cell LiPo with 4000 mA capacity. The steering servo is installed on the front axle. This place is not so scale looking, but it provides a precise and direct steering, also when the axle moves over obstacles. I use the DW25 LV from PowerHD. It's specially designed for crawlers and fully waterproof. Also, the steering angle is very good and provides good agility on the trails. The front axles are equipped with CVDs and have been improved compared to the original version. The pins are thicker now and so much stronger. Another cool feature are the portal axles. In the axle are gears to bring the wheel axle more down and this gives much more ground clearance in the middle. Here you can see how this portal gear works. Also these gears are all made in metal. The dampers are upgraded too. In this JP1 kit the TC80 dampers are included. The damper cylinders are made in aluminum and filled with oil. Installed are two different springs, one softer and the other harder. This gives a good response over small bumps and also big obstacles. The tires are a bit narrow and hard. The rubber compound feels not so bad, but for sure there exist better products to improve the grip on the trails. The wheels are not beadlocks, the tires have to be glued on with super glue. But now, one more time, let's go on the trails. For me, this is a very nice looking cheap like truck. The body have nice details and the chassis with the improvements works well and is durable and affordable. Now I say thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.